Breaking news in Norfolk. The fire chief now says they are looking for a serial arsonist. That's one of two big developments in the Rotunda condominium fire investigation. Now, fire crews also just told us there were two fires in that building last night, bringing the total now to five. Investigators are calling on the feds to help put those responsible behind bars. From Chopper 10, you can get a bird's eye view of the Rotunda building next to the MacArthur Center in downtown Norfolk. Today aside, Melanie Woodrow is live there now. So, Melanie, when did investigators find out there were two fires last night? Well, Alvita, they're telling me that they knew last night that there were two fires here, one on the third floor, one on the fourth floor, for a total of five fires, all suspicious, all now believed to be arson. And as you said, they're looking for what they were saying could be a serial arsonist or arsonists. The reason they didn't give out that information last night, fire investigators are telling me, because they wanted to see of the folks that live here in this building, who knew what. Five fires, all ruled arson, all in about a week. After last night's two fires, the fire chief determined residents had to leave the Rotunda condominium building. Until we can, he feels that the building is safe uh, for the residents to return, then he's not going to let them return. Safety, something that's being questioned now. How about the security pads, the codes, have those been changed? When we met with the residents, um, whatever night it was, a couple nights ago, uh, that was brought up. That's it. Something that needs to be done. Norfolk Fire and Rescue Battalion Chief Harry Worley says, to his knowledge, the codes have not been changed in four years. That's about the time the select group took over management of the property. Someone who answered the phone there today said the security codes were disabled today and that new codes had not been set yet, despite the series of fires. Chief Worley said fire investigators have not determined if the fires are the work of a serial arsonist. They are still working to make sure that these fires are connected together to the same person. To help make the determination, Norfolk Fire and Rescue called FBI and ATF agents for help. In the meantime, Chief Worley says he does not believe Norfolk residents are in danger. What about the security threat to the folks living in the building if and when they go back in? Will, will you let those people back in prior to an arrest being made? That would be um, a call that we would have to make when it comes to that. All right, so again, in addition to the perceived potential threat for the folks that are living here, now that we know that there have been five fires, perhaps by an arsonist or arsonist plural, there is, of course, the aspect of this being a nuisance for the folks that live here. And to that end, individuals that live in this building have been allowed in between 5 p.m. and up until 8 p.m. tonight for no more than 15 minutes with a police escort to gather their belongings. As for when they'll be allowed to move back home permanently, that has not yet been determined. Yeah, Melanie, we just understand that, that an arson profiler from Quantico has actually been called in on this. What would that person be doing? Yeah, really interesting stuff here, um, although also a little bit scary for the folks that live here, of course. They, as you know, are looking now to FBI agents and ATF agents. And as part of that, an ATF spokesperson out of Washington, D.C., told me that they are now putting in a request for, as you said, what's known as an arson profiler, somebody that looks at the psychological um, aspects and behavioral aspects of somebody who could be responsible for a series of fires. They put in a request to that person, as you said, that person is at Quantico, to help them investigate whether or not they are looking at an arsonist or arsonists here in this situation. And in the context of letting me know about that, that public information officer told me that that person was used also in uh, about 2003, 2004 in Washington, D.C., when they had a similar series of fires that were determined to be the work of an arsonist. And it'll definitely help the public know what to look for. All right, thanks a lot.